Wind Energy Development is a Rhode Island-based company that has been in operation since 2009. It has been an integral part of bringing wind energy to Rhode Island and has big plans to continue to do so for years to come. By doing so, wind energy development can increase energy security, lower carbon emissions, preserve farmland in Rhode Island, and boost local economies. In May of 2016, Wind Energy Development received a shipment of 10 wind turbines by cargo ships. One from Germany containing the tower sections and cells, and the other from China containing the turbine blades. Both massive cargo ships delivering turbine components to the Quonset ports in Quonset, Rhode Island. Each tower section is approximately 100 feet tall and weighs 50,000 tons. When turbine construction is complete, each turbine will be approximately 126 meters high, or 414 feet tall. Here is a look at how the ships are offloaded onto the trucks and transported to the landing area before construction begins. A project of this size needs to be carefully orchestrated to be done safe and efficiently. But it's been a, a long journey. We started off seven years ago with our first turbine in North Kingstown, which was unloaded at the same port. Um, this is right now the largest delivery in Rhode Island, New England, Mass, of wind turbines that have ever been received here. And uh, we're expecting to have our projects up and running by the beginning of July. One of the turbines um, hops that you see being loaded right now is actually going to Portsmouth. That's the top section, so it's the third section on the tower. And um, we, that we are replacing the Portsmouth turbine, which has been defunct and out of commission for the last three and a half years. So that's a very exciting time for the town of Portsmouth. Um, it's very exciting for wind energy development and my team.
landing area, the turbine components will be transported to the construction site in Coventry. sections, one nacelle, one generator part and the hub with the three attached plates. We always use two cranes at the building site because all parts are stored in a straight horizontal line. I can show it here with this boat for example. Um, when you move something from a horizontal line into a vertical level and you have to keep a clearance under the ground. You have a small crane at the bottom of the tower section and the big crane at the top. So first both cranes move parallel the whole tower section up about two to three meters or maybe let us say six to nine feet and then the big crane is moving faster than the small crane so the whole tower gets shifted horizontal. Then we can loosen the, um, the lifting system from the bottom section of the tower so the small crane is getting disattached from the tower section and the big crane can go on and lift the whole tower and then you need 120 bolts of this size, we pre-tightened them with over 1,500 feet lips. These are especially huge nuts and bolts and washers. Finally, they get bolted up with over 5,500 newton meters or exactly 4,360 feet lips. Imagine, your car only needs 70 feet lips for a wheel nut. inside for doing the next attachments like the generator, the next bolts, everything is inside for doing the top mountings like screwdrivers, branches and all the stuff you need. And if the nacelle is placed, itself has 96 bolts, smaller ones than this. The whole process begins anew like doing the wirings, leading a power cable from the nacelle down to the floor so we can use a brake system, we can use the lights inside and so on and so on.
launch from the ground, 40 meters high, with two cranes. First, the small crane takes the downside blade and the big crane takes the whole rotor in the middle. So, when the blade has enough space to swing free, the small crane gets disattached and the big crane is lifting the whole thing up in the air to the tower. to the school we had to back the trucks all the way up and in so it took us about 10 hours to get the actual turbines from Quonset to the location to be unloaded um, it's a good feeling today that this turbine went up very quickly it took us a day and a half to assemble it from start to finish um, it's been running well it's been running for about a week now we have a um, right to produce power from National Grid it's got a CO on it so it's fully in operation and it really makes me feel good because this was the turbine that every other town every other municipality would point to when we were talking to them about wind energy um, the technology that was here before doesn't compete with the technology that's here now 
The neighbors are already saying that we have a turbine that's a lot quieter. Um, we are a little taller than we were before, a good amount taller, but which helps the noise and which will help the flicker um, and will help production. But today's a real good day to see people come out. The town's happy, their debt's paid. Um, we had some incentives to finish early. Uh, we're donating them to their park. Um, they have a historical house that they're renovating, so instead of taking those funds, we wanted to be more of a neighbor in Portsmouth and um, a neighbor for the next 25 to 30 years. We went with the town on other projects, and um, I enjoy being there. It's a very good day.